Cause we need that shit. <laughs> but it's the set. This is where. Yeah, yeah, that's the this set. This dead boy set. Yeah. What do you mean by that? Take a seat. A seat. Okay, ICP. Take it like this. I don't know what's going on. I'm in the concentration camp. They telling them I'm rich and I'm riding around and I'm doing this. They tell me they got a different story. And then they got my brother doing certain things. And I'm not seeing my family and shit. But we host this cupcake. There's an unseen negative force that's taking over everybody. You know, it's your friend. Every time you see somebody, they got some more motherfuckers riding with them. You got to be able to read this energy that they ride, that's riding with them. Because if you don't be able to ride, bring this energy and ride with them, you won't be fucking twisted. Right, are we cutting with the rest of the Right, because we to the base. So we got to go see what's going on down there. He jumped in, he ain't like that. And when you sit there, oh, that's my kid, I jumped that. So I said, I don't care, I don't care, put your hands on, I don't want to bite something. Body hurry, or give you the number, get startled. You ain't that crazy. Then he started talking about, you the devil. You won't let me touch your sister. You hold her away from me. You keep her back from me. Wait a minute, hold on. My sister came to see me and he was at the door. And she said, I come to sleep roll. When I came to the door, she talked to me on the phone. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Cameras 24 7 is a reality show. It's reality. What is reality? 
I'm asking you a question. What is reality, man? Is that a hard one? Hmm. information to me. What's the matter? What's the matter? Y'all niggas need to know this shit, man. This ain't no motherfucking game, man. Just even putting out records like people think it's all fun and games is definitely not a game. You know, and that's just the thing about putting records out now that or even coming from where we came from to put a record out today, it was next to impossible to put a record out in the times we came up in. Because it wasn't as easy as it is today. You know, we had to basically knock down a lot of doors to get where we are at. And we didn't close those doors. We didn't close those doors on people. We left the doors open so people could walk through. We gave people a formula and a format and showed them the way. We used to do the reveal secrets to them that they wouldn't have necessarily knew. We, we uh, 
let them peek inside the real life Da Vinci Code. And it's like, some people turn their back on the fact that we blessed them a long time ago. And even to this day, we still dropping blessings. Like, all this and that. Like, I don't even like to talk about it. This is the, this is what the, they had one call me and said that they was trying to get him. And um, I rushed over as soon as I can. I'm about to go in the apartment. I think they was up in there. I'm going to take y'all in there. So hold on, let me get myself to y'all. Basically. Oh, he said because he had to do his ritual. No, it'll fall there. It'll fall there. You don't want to let it fall because that's a finger on it. What's on it? That's a finger on it. The finger on it? The wooden finger. My wooden finger. My pinky finger over here. You doing all that? Shit is moving outside. What? Yeah, shit's moving outside when you kick yeah, your shit. Yeah, shit's moving outside, but yeah. this is garbage. Man. That's where I came from, though. You know what I'm saying? The whole. Just hell spiritual type of shit. That's that's the childhood. So yeah, we roll with it, blasphemy. Bang that out in 1994. So what came after blasphemy? Shit. What came after blasphemy? Was it uh closed casket? Natalie, once again, a music group is being blamed for a teenager's death. This time the group Natus is from Detroit. And the controversy involves a rap song with suicidal lyrics. TV News John Noel reports that a boy from Tennessee is listening to the rappers. With two albums in the record store area. Very, very popular, at least in the Detroit region. They, when they put a, a new release out, generally it's in our top five for three weeks to a month. Well, it appears the word on Natus, which is Satan spelled backwards, is spreading. Earlier this week, a 17-year-old Nashville teenager killed himself while smoking marijuana, playing Russian roulette, and listening to Natus's album, Life After Death. But members of the group say they can't be held responsible for what others do while listening to their music. Don't blame us because of that, you know. We didn't, we didn't know the guy personally. We didn't tell him to do it. I listen to him all the time. I wouldn't go out and kill myself. Now, no one is saying listening to this kind of music will make a teenager go out and take his own life. The question is, what sort of influence does it have on a youngster who is already troubled and maybe contemplating suicide? Some psychologists say messages and music can influence the mind of a vulnerable teenager. Teenagers and a lot of people look to their uh, musicians as, as leaders and role models. I'm not a role model. I'm not trying to make nobody happy. But the bottom line is, when it comes down to it, regardless of the music or anything, you're going to be the last person to decide whether you want to live or die. In the news. Now, Mattis is already working on its third album due out in April. The title? A woman who says she would have been in a casket had uh, she not escaped. So what was that judgment day all about? Judgment day volume one and two. What made you put out a double album? What was that all about? Because I was intuitively connected. Prince. Who? Prince. Prince? Roger Nelson? Yeah, Roger Nelson. The symbol? The symbol. The artist formerly known as? Yes. No. You were doing with Prince when you put out Judgment Day 1 and 2? Yeah. yeah. Can you explain that? He had put out a double album. Did he? Yeah. I was like, yeah, if you put out a double album on R&B, I could do it on rap. You know? Because mm. he's trying to do some goodies. He's the best rapper in the motherfucking world, you know? Mm-hmm. That's
Type of people that we was talking about. Oh, uh, yeah. He said the motherfuckers was coming, man. So, fuck the lights ain't working and shit. Get the fuck out of here, man. I gotta find my brother. I don't know what they did with him. I've been trying to get him to take his medication. I wonder if he did that shit. Something that people might not know about Boom or Words from Hell is that that whole album was created in one day. So it spread like that through word of mouth, which was a powerful tool in helping us sell those records because everybody that heard it uh, instantly became hooked on it. So, we make these records up, right? People buy them. And, um, I don't really know what to say about these ones, man. And it's bullshit, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, these bitches been trying to kill us. They've been trying to kill us for years. They don't want to see us living, man. Why is that? You got the answer, fair boy? Dead girl. She dead. dead girls. So what, what is that about? Like, What's that about? Woo! Well, you see how he feeling about it. She moved! <laughs> so mystically gifted. Memory thanks me. Oh, bitch! So mystical memory thanks me. So, player, what was that all about? <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on. Been with us, they make us some Egyptian money. This shit right here look too funny. Mommy, 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 told me why, why? New bad bears wait, wanna cry. I said, I don't know. Big bears be mad at Boo Boo, cause Boo Boo ain't got no honey in his tummy, mommy. You knew what you and daddy didn't do the thing. Y'all was in the same game. Now y'all wanna send me to hell and lock me up, cause y'all know I'm trying to come up. 
Yeah. Hold on, Kevin. Yeah. Uh, you know, you're going to have to talk about this eventually, man. <laughs> you ain't going to get out of that shit, man. You can't just go with the rap sessions, man. This shit real, dog. Look how we living, nigga. What the fuck is up? What the fuck happened, nigga? Real life, nigga. What happened, nigga? <laughs> Hey man, it'd be, it'd be, it'd be caught up. Back early 80s, I believe, when I was across the street. Mm -hmm. You'd come in, I believe, with your brother at the time. Right. And I heard about you. And I said, who is this guy? We got to get a hold of him. Mm -hmm. We need that product in here. And then we hooked up. Your brother came in and uh, brought your CD. Actually, at the time, it was. What CD was it? Oh, wow. Well, cassettes. Because it, it was God. cassettes. Boomin, no, before Boomin, shoot. No, it was Boomin. Was it Boomin with the, the red cassette? Yes. With the car. Wow. Yeah, with the side one. Wow. Which is not worth it. So much? <laughs> right, right. How much? Right. <laughs> so that cassette is actually like... That's a collector's item. A collector's item. In the record business, like... I mean, what other artists... Boomin Words Hell, right? Don't make come up with the name Boomin Words Hell and what why. <laughs> <laughs> because <laughs> <laughs> he's on being the great artist that he is, you know. <laughs> he was writing about things that he saw around in the neighborhood, things that you know that was going on around us, you know. In Detroit at the time, I mean, I mean was it just Detroit, 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 period. In New York, York New York, Detroit. You know, just growing up as a child, you know, as a kid. Well, what growing up as a kid. The album Boom Words of Hell. What was that all about? Because the booming, the words, the hell. <laughs> booming. <laughs> booming. <laughs> booming. <laughs> it's, uh... Oh, man, you can't even pass it. Here. Uh, I put it right there on the track. Oh, on the track, okay. man. <laughs> <laughs> Boom and words from hell. <laughs> you got <laughs> you got the drug dealers in the community. <laughs> in every urban area. I ain't speaking bad on the drug dealers or nothing like that. They just doctors too, you know what I'm saying? Pharmacists and pharmacists and shit, you know what I'm saying? They aiding and assisting people that's in stressful, stressful, uh, related, uh, 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 they like the doctors with the medicine in the hood and shit, you know what I'm saying? If they didn't have the medicine for, in the hood for the, for the, for the patients, then the, they'd just go crazy. They'd kill themselves. Don't never let us stop. You have me out. Don't let us fuck. Never let us fuck. Because they never ate just my own shoes. That's the one shoes you had. You wanted to boil me down with it. <laughs> These things be messed up a lot of bad, bro. But that's up a lot of mine, you know. Entertainment and facts and issues. You take a, you know, you take a, you take a, a big figure, you know. I mean, you encompass it with something ignorant. It creates a shockwave in the system, you know. And whatever's coming through that system, it multiplies. I got, uh, what's this motherfucking name? Billion? 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 He always catch me off guard. You know I'm a perfectionist. You know I'm a perfectionist, right? You know I'm a perfectionist. So he always trying to catch me off guard. He's like, boy, we rolling right now. Let's roll. Boom, we're rolling. And here's the beat. Here's it. And I'm rolling. I ain't made up no rap. I ain't wrote it down or nothing. He just put the beat on. I just got the golf. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't know how to respect this shame, shame, man. New five. The shame, shame, files. Now, you gotta have real holy heavenly, hellishly holy, wicked tears and assolations from the proper times and calculations, or these fucking liars are fucking blow up in your fucking face. But what you're really doing is blowing up in your mind a lot of times. And it becomes a gun and you shoot your shit out with a cigarette. It's like this. Okay. Yeah, so. Your home too can be dead boy designed. Like yeah. this.
Yeah, you, one must have a temple in their home. One must have a temple in their home. I mean, if you if you do any type of worship, you should just make one room, you know, in your home, just, you know, whatever you worship, whatever religion, whatever, I don't care what it is. It should encompass everything in that room artistically, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, everything is just being vibrant, you know. Well, this shit is pretty fucked up. Like right here, he's saying this is fucked up. But if What's you're that? looking at it from, see, you have to see. This is this is my ant files. This is my ant. So you got ants in here. This is my ant farm. You got ants in here. They'll come out if you ask them to. I don't want the ants to come out. Well, they won't come out. You know. How do you think the pyramids get built? The ants built them? Yes. Ants built them. Okay. Yes. Rapidly. Do that again. No. <laughs> Reflected. <laughs> Whoa. What the fuck is that? It's just being balanced. If you're balanced, you see you balanced. You wouldn't even been able to get close to me. You got all type of shit in there. This shit. Oh. Did that lady come back in here? Where the cat at, man? She ran away. She just uh, she running around somewhere. Well, I, she said she was gonna call the main society on her. But see, like I got all this of me. I you should be in here playing, man. You know, we be having fun, man. So where the cat at? I ain't seen her, man. I'm, I've been sad too, you know. This motherfucker on this tape. And he was like, What's up, Eminem? He was like, uh, What up, Ishan? And he was like, uh, What up, Jay? What up? We in here. What up, y'all? Okay. Back to y'all. All right. Peace. Anyway, they just passing by. But anyway, anyway, man, that was a commercial break. But you know, go ahead and all this. So I gave you the tape. People like, Who is this? Yeah, like what was what, what was on there? This was the making a boom of words from hell. Basically, yeah. So how did that get made? He told like, me it was him, and I was like, how the hell you do this? It was pissing. Man, fuck you, man. What? what you trying to build up a motherfucking case on me to send me to the hospital, you hoe ass nigga? That's why we all fucked up now, nah, nigga, because of you. And your dumb ass decisions, nigga. My dumb decisions. Yeah, nigga. Why I gotta get what y'all should have brought all that shit I got right now. Y'all should have brought that shit when I got up in there the first time. Well, I had to wait to get all my little bit of shit. That little bit of shit that I got now, that little bit of unity from the family. Why well, I have to wait that long to get that? That mental, I think, uh, mental stress you, and emotional stress that I have, uh, subjected those people to. Uh, that's why I feel bad about it. 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 That's a fact, I get a flashback One day I'ma snap, my mind is gone To each his own I wish the whole world would just leave me alone I wanna die, I do not die I'm on the far side and it's past me by I wanna cry, I do not cry I have to tell me myself and die 
Because of how, how this shit going, man. Because you sick, right? Because you don't take your medication. You diagnosed with what? Schizophrenia and all that shit. I'm diagnosed with schizophrenia. You want me to break down some signs and symbols right now? Break it down. Here go a, 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 a panther right here, diagonally right there. Boom. That bird just flew by, a hot food piece of deli. He just closed the door. Boom, that's a nigga right there. That's the, we, we in the, I'm, I'm in the motherfucking um, a Lamborghini right now. And you in the truck. back. The with the dimensions from this car and that car adding on to it from the from these lights and shit to how they dip and shit like that and then these busted up abandoned buildings see these look up there these egyptian buildings right here see i can fix these buildings just by hitting them with the right keys with this stick you see what i'm saying i can fix them buildings and i'm fixing them up just from what i'm doing in that fucking apartment 
I'm fixing up shit. Yeah. What's in there? Oatmeal? I like everything that I eat, everything that is in this thing? Yeah, everything that I eat. So you eat that? It's a urinal too. You eat that? No, it's stuff like that I eat, like products that I eat, I put in there and I, I meditate over that shit. And I piss in there too. I don't shit in there, but I piss in there. You do what? I piss in there. It's Ooh. like, a, it's a toilet. Because what? the toilet in, in the bathroom is, is a whole, say like if you had to piss, you see you can go in there and piss. But say like if somebody else came over here, they would have to piss right there. See what I'm saying? Because their energy coming in to the temple and it's sacred in there because my mama go in there. My aunt go in there. You know what I'm saying? So that bathroom is, is very sacred. So they got to pass this piss test first before they be allowed to go in there and piss. You know. Now if it's a female, she she can piss like there too. And that, yeah, um, that's the piss. So most likely I'm going to have to put a draper right there. You know what no, I'm you're going to have to throw that out, man. It's unsanitary, man. You want me to throw it out? Well, tell me to carry it out. I'm not carrying that shit out. Yeah. Nigga, pour that shit down the toilet stool. Pour it down there right now. I'll pour it down there right now if you want me to. I don't want you If you like it, if I love it. that's what you say, if it, whatever you, because your energy is so vibrant, I'm then not, I would do it just because you, you're saying that. You don't got to pour it out because of me, man. But I'm just saying that's oh, some okay. nasty shit. Okay. You shouldn't have a bucket of piss in a vase right there. That ain't right. Okay, well, if... That's it's unsanitary. Like, it's unsanitary. Yeah. Should look like some hoarder shit up in here, man. You should be taking my shit? <laughs> I've been videotaping your shit. Alright, what's your man? Just be cool, man. You sure you gonna move in with me? All right, dog. Yep. Now, why did I say that? Why did I tell him he was gonna move in with me? After he got evicted out of his apartment for some type of rituals that his apartment manager did not understand some Egyptian voodoo rituals. I've been, uh, that's why I'll pick you out my apartment. So what the hell you do this to the stove for? I've been cleaning the stove. They had the gas off. I don't know why they got the gas off. But the gas is off, so I'm going to call the gas department out here. Uh, what do the fucking banana in the toilet mean? Why another bus? Your bananas on the toilet seat. Mm, that's some... Yeah. Some, yeah, some shit on my mind. Some shit that I've been to say. Some shit that i got to say. Mm. Then I got my calling cleaner right there. And then this the other stuff I gotta work on. But this gonna be for the uh bathroom, that basket. But yeah, this I'm just drying these out too. So I can make bracelets and shit. But I'm just recording the water time, the air time that come in here, the, the temperature, that the uh, you know, the elements and shit. I'm recording all the elements and the bananas. Because I'm going to be making bracelets and shit out of them and frames out of the bananas and shit. After he got evicted out of his apartment for some type of rituals that his apartment manager did not understand some Egyptian voodoo rituals and making the wall shake and aliens coming in there, throwing things out of the window, um breaking things, misplacing things. I mean, I think he possessed by an alien, to be honest with you. It just seemed like that some symbiotic forces inside of him that he cannot control. 
and he's trapped in between worlds 24 hours a day. Wow. He under there dead? Is he? It smell like a dead body in this bitch. I don't smell it. Because you in here, that's like when somebody take a shit, they don't smell they shit in the bathroom until they walk out and go back in there. Hmm. They even realize that this is actually something that's happening. Hmm. And I gotta live here. Men walk around here for me 57 mad and talk about the hands. Just no man, no, I ain't gonna be all that. Who got that? Hmm. They scared. Oh, scared. Man, I told you put out after. Yeah. I used to be cool to Kente, so, you know, I got this collar on here just to let them know. I know y'all trying to collar me up for all eternity all over again and chop my fucking foot off again. You know what I'm saying? Did you take a shower today? I'm going to do that after I balance it out. I, I was trying to see that right there is a clean pathway. It I is. The pathway. This is the cleanest part of the house. It's all I this work on it. sections. I work on sections. You see, you you supposed to put on some slippers. I'm gonna have a different size slippers right there for. Oh, we got him. He came down here. Oh, he came down here with a towel and wrapped up like this here for all of this. I told him, hey man. And then he took all the shirts and stuff and laid them out in the hallway. His underwear and all the all up and down the hallway. Oh. He had this shirt. They was all laid out. Nice and pressed out, all the way down the hall, like it was some kind of path or something of another. And I said, what are you doing? I was like, James, no, right. we're not doing it. He told me his name was something else. I told him, no, no, no. We seen motherfuckers came in, changed the game, and that's, that's exactly what we did. So that's where the pressure came in at. How do we come back with some shit after life after death? Blasphemy, you know? I'm gonna get him some help. <laughs> That's, uh, I'm sorry about that. I know, but well, anyway, when he he put some on him, but then he came down here. He had like the Roman people. He didn't have on nothing underneath here. He had a towel and had it folded up like this here. Well, and all the general clothes, all the general clothes came out. He came to the door. I said, stuff. baby, no. You gotta go back upstairs, Mr. Jane, because then he started talking talk about the Egyptians gonna come and get me and all that. I told him, no, nah, baby, we going back upstairs. You gotta put your clothes on. You can't not do this with that. We go back upstairs. So he did. You know what's doing that. Okay, then I don't know. He started making up some kind of stuff. I don't know what it was. He asked me, do you want to come in here? I told him, the only time I ever went in his apartment was that blue. Yeah, nigga, I know you believe that shit. I was running through the hallway butt naked and shit, nigga, but you know, I ain't Jesus fired, nigga. You know what I'm saying, nigga? They might have caught me moving through time and shit, you know what I'm saying? You know, and motherfuckers that snap a picture of me, they be, you know, I be clicking and clacking so motherfucking quick and good and shit, you know? Okay. Right? Yeah. Well, hear that shit come on your ass right now. Yeah.
It's a lot of motherfuckers out here talking shit about Esha. But I'm gonna tell y'all just like this. See, I don't play that shit. When it's time to do my shit, I do it. You know what I'm saying? See, it's a lot of motherfuckers that just go like this. Yeah, just like this. And when I say that shit, I want y'all to do it because y'all know the word. So check it out. Yo, yeah, niggas need to say you on my dick, bro. I say, where's my keys? Cause you know, it's just a lot of shit going on up here, man. You know, motherfuckers wouldn't believe it, man. You know, you wanna know the truth, you know? I'ma tell you the truth. The music business is fucked up. You know, it's, it's really like a dead end street. You know? It's almost like how the crack game slowed up before the crack played out. You know what I'm saying? But, unfortunately, if you don't got a an audience or a clientele built up over the years like we have that are, that is accustomed to getting this medicine that we putting out there, you know, it's like I could have been stopped making records. People run up on me and they're like, yo, we need our medicine. He's trying to come on, give us our medicine. Where you at? Doc, give, me, give me my medicine. So I got to keep filling that prescription, man. It's only right. It's only right. So basically, um, yeah. Just fucked up. We gotta get them. Listen, man, you, I'm talking to you. Will you just talk? Oh.
Mm-hmm. How did uh the album come about? Y'all made down in one day. The album came about. Did y'all what y'all do? Y'all went up to the studio. Y'all what what? Y'all booked a ten hour block. We uh. And the 10 hours of Boomer Words from Hell was made, how did that go? Yeah, uh, my man, uh, Greg Riley. Greg Riley. At the disc. Greg Riley, my boy. <coughs> yeah, at the disc. And I'm a, I gotta get Greg a call, because I got some work for you, man, you know. You still on the team, you know. <laughs> Everybody that's been down with real life, that done something with real life, or that's done borrow some music from real life, or oh, this was so soulistically inspired by real life. Break that down. Come on and holler at me they because y'all got y'all, y'all, y'all we got some work to do. What does that mean? When you divinely inspired by something, that means when you hear somebody else's music, and that's a, a drop of acid, that's an atom, a spark of energy, a light force is within you. That's the host. See, so now that host is in you, which that art it is that artist. You see, so now you begin to be inspired to write and build and dream about being this rapper. But you are just that 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 host in a whole nother time, recreating himself in a different way. From the first original work by the first first. Right, right. So you must go pay homage to the original seed there. Or not, if you don't do that, everything that you build up. Uh, because it's called carbon copy, it's, it's false, it's not original. Shit. I'm gonna tell you like this too though. So after the after the boom and drop, you know, we put out Homie Don't Play and Erotic Poetry, which was two EPs, and these were still cassettes that we was talking about. We slanging the fuck out these bitches, man. And there was rap groups out there trying to holler at us trying to get us on their records. One rap group in particular, ICP. They wanted to get us. A lot of shit is a blur, like, I lost a lot of years in drunk and stupid hot, experimentation, acid, red acid, mushrooms, just doing shit that I, I necessarily, I wouldn't say that I shouldn't do, but, you know, it's like sex, drugs, and rock and roll, you know, with this shit. And just, you know, pushing it, just doing the heavy mental, doing the heavy mental shit. Um... I can remember when we first dropped Homie Don't Play. It was like people didn't even know if I was black or white because I painted my face up and I was looking like a clown or whatever you want to call it. First wicked clown, clown, whatever. But these records... <laughs> Let me get some of that shit. What's that there, this drink? You know what I Yeah. Yeah. Hey man, grab it, pass the blood, and uh, take I ain't mad at you, I ain't mad at nobody, I'm just mad at myself for people looking at me. They looking at me with religious eyes, dog. They looking at me with religious eyes, and they ain't even true to their own fucking religion. The fuck? I'm God, goddammit. But my motherfucking state of mind. Don't come and try and twist and twist me up. I'm not cutting shit off my face. Bitches. This is my shit, my face. Motherfucker, I ain't never changed my goddamn nose, and I'm not. Motherfucker. Man, they think a nigga got a nose job, but I ain't got no nose job, nigga. So. We was going through everything, you know, cutting, grab, mom, whatever. We was doing our thing on the on the low, you know, but we was doing on the good because we had medicine, you know what I'm saying? So, in other words, we uh, got it together and boom, it was. It so was I mean, I didn't try to get a record deal or nothing. <laughs> yes, we tried. I, I didn't. At first, we tried to get a record deal, but what happened? after we didn't get no response, I didn't never send nobody no tape. Never, never. I'm like, y'all know this shit though, because Jesus fed 5,500. 5, he fed 5,500. So I said, damn, we sell 5,500. 
I'm a Jesus Christ figure. Right. That's what I said. You see what I'm saying? So, Isham is a Jesus Christ figure. That's what I said. So I kept on moving. And I said, they can't recognize a Jesus Christ figure. Then they all should be ashamed of themselves. But see, Isham is encompassed in the word shame. So that's 360 degrees, 360 degrees. That's infinite perpetuity and perpetuity. No, 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 no. See, that's rotating on this axis. You see? See, Isham is the equator to balance it out. The ozone layer, yes, we patched that up. Don't worry about that. That's all patched up. All you got to do is stay real and stay tuned and listen to our taste, buy our products, and be blessed. Once again, he came to us with the title. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's going to be the next title to the novice, right? Do you believe in God? same time you know they like the pioneers are the ones with all the knives in their back it's like you know, a cliche i'm not making this up that, if that's what it is that's what it is you know what i'm saying but that was our ultimate sacrifice you know what i mean giving up this secret to the world teaching them game dude there's a lot of other acts releasing out there that the benefited off of releasing the whole secret to the game and you know that's that's what that's that. called building the following but at the same time you're going to get a lot of uh, people who jump on the bandwagon and want to do the same shit. Like, motherfuckers who wanted to do the gangster rap when N.W.A. was doing it. That's, so a, that's a exactly lot of clone ass, that's exactly what happened biting ass. ass. I mean, well, right, I want right. to put it out there like that, but it was so it infectious there. that it made people emulate what you was doing because... Uh, that's what happens, you know, because we, we gods with this shit, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? And if we put out information to the universe people just gonna absorb it and, and, and try to follow suit it, follow suit because of the coat okay and that's just what happens when you just got a movement going on and you the pioneer of that movement that's okay because i'll be like fuck y'all i hate this shit you know this is real life the movie <laughs> The only thing I like to say is, man, that fucking space alien bitch at that apartment, the little old lady, that bitch a space alien. And man, all I, 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 don't, I don't know what the fuck to say, man. You know? I guess people dealing with schizophrenia, the only thing I could say is, you know, I, I feel your pain. This shit is crazy out here, man. You know, the lyrics I've been writing, you know, it's been about my brother, all my songs, you know, I make songs up. Most of those songs were about my brother and his condition, you know, he's been dealing with schizophrenia all his life. And um, throughout, throughout my career, been times where people are wondering like what's going on. Excuse me, I've been drinking.
thinking. But I've been taking care of my brother all this time, you know. Now I have to take time out of my busy schedule. <clears throat> Basically stop what I'm doing to go and make sure he's all right. Because that's what a brother do for his brother. We all we got. If I don't take care of him, who will? if you even learned anything from this whole experience, you know, just real life, the movie, this is real life. There <coughs> 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 ain't no acting in this. You know? I don't know if you learned anything, but if you learned something about me, you know, I'm sort of like a therapist. I'm a psychologist. I'm a lot of things, you know. And I didn't necessarily go to school for them. For them. I didn't necessarily go to school for them. You know. I got my PhD in schizophrenia from hands-on experience. And, you know, I just was saying, man, like, the game is crazy. You know? It ain't what it seems. Everything that glitters is definitely not gold. And there's no wizard of Oz. And there's no yellow brick road to follow.
so 